Hello everyone, it's Maddie, and this is going to be a clean with me video, obviously. Um, this day, my toddler has insomnia, if you guys don't know. She's a little over two and a half, and she had gotten up. I thought we were up for the day. Um, she ended up falling asleep, and I had taken her diaper off. She still sleeps in a diaper, but she is potty trained, and she ended up uh, having an accident on our bed, which was my fault. Um, we do have this waterproof mattress protector, so nothing got on the bed, but like there was a surprising amount of pee and i had just changed the sheets i think the day before so i had to strip the bed and remake it um and yeah but that that's how life goes um and then this is little miss kennedy my older daughter is izzy um kennedy is about four and a half months um my name's maddie and my fiance's name is Jacob. I am a 24 year old stay at home mom. We live in Texas and yeah, we don't have the most aesthetic house, but it's home and um, we do live right next door to my parents. So that's really nice. Um, so I always have laundry to do. I do try to stay on top of the laundry. Um, so I'm just playing with Miss Kennedy and putting laundry away. Um, she's so fun. She just wants to go. My first was just like, I'm a potato at this age. And she is rolling over and she just thinks she has places to be. Um, I did feed her and I thought she was maybe going to go to sleep and then she didn't go to sleep. And so we're just hanging out. <laughs> um, and I think Izzy was at my parents' house. That's usually where she disappears to. I mean, I know she's there, obviously, because um, she's not even three. But I don't remember exactly where she was in this video, so she, I'm guessing she's at my parents' house. Um, so, yeah, we actually have pretty long driveways, so I'll watch her just walk over, because um, it's not that far, and it's like a clear line of vision, basically. Um, yeah, I'm just putting away me and Jacob's laundry and my dresser is out in the hallway because our room's pretty small and it doesn't really fit in here. Um, I'm just giving Kennedy some fabric. She's pretty good at holding toys like rattles and stuff, but sometimes she hits herself in the face. So <laughs> I've been giving her like softer things when I'm not playing with her to make sure she doesn't um, bop herself. Now it's time for me to just pick up the stuff on the side of my bed and take out the diaper trash. I just keep this little trash can in my room and I throw diapers in it. And this is where I change Kennedy like on our bed because I don't have a changing table this time. And I just take the trash out every day and put it in the kitchen trash and the kitchen trash goes out once a day. So that's just how we do it. And then this is the toy room. Um, but it also has all the girls clothes in here because Izzy's room does not have a closet. Um, and this dresser is like anchored in here. So I was like, let's just leave it. Um, we also have some little metal bookshelves in here that are anchored and the bookshelf in Izzy's room is anchored as well. And our entertainment center, we have like everything anchored. Um, so no worries there. This is a very safe room. And Miss Kennedy is just in her little sit-me-up seat. I limit container time, um, but she does enjoy sitting up in this and playing. Um, she really likes this one.
here i'm gonna wipe kennedy's face she is such a spitty baby she's a happy spitter though is what they call it like she's not upset when she's spitting up um but she still spits up quite a bit but she's gaining weight and she's happy and you know she's not like colic she doesn't scream and then throw up or anything so everyone has said she's fine the doctors so we're just living with it but i mean she gets messy some days some days if she's spitting up a lot we just put a bib on her um you know if it's the second outfit change it's time for a bib and then i have all these christmas clothes um that were izzy's and i'm just pulling out stuff that will fit kennedy um i make really big babies so she's already wearing like 12 month clothes um so i was just getting that stuff out izzy was shorter and chunkier at this age um so she was actually already in like 18 to 24 month clothes at four to five months old um so kennedy is longer and weighs about two pounds less than izzy did at this age so very different also izzy has a big head like her head is always measured big and kennedy's head is normal size so <laughs> that's kind of funny to me again they're both perfectly healthy and fine um but yeah i'm just gonna pick up the living room and i absolutely love this rug it is from amazon and it's washable so i can just pick it up and throw it in the washing machine otherwise i would not have a rug this light and i will say having kids and dogs i don't think i can ever have a rug that is not machine washable because We've had like two or three rugs since we've lived in this house and every time it is time to get a new one I am disgusted at how dirty it is underneath even though like I clean them I spot clean them when stuff gets on them I vacuum them regularly like they it's still just disgusting to me so I love a good washable rug um then I'm just here in the bathroom to tidy it up somehow our bathroom really I was gonna say i feel like our bathroom just like explodes i don't understand but that's okay also my dog will not quit peeing on the rugs in here and it's driving me insane he's still doing this and um he's making me very upset but anyway i'm just gonna clean up the bathroom and give it a good sanitation Then I have to start my robot vacuum. Did y'all hear my baby fart? Oh my God, she just farted. Um, so I empty her out and start her. Her name is Rosie. I'm obsessed with her. And then it's time to clean this kitchen. Um, if you guys don't know, I don't have a dishwasher and I don't really like to towel dry my dishes because it takes forever. So I let them all air dry and yeah. Oh, and then my machine's finished while I was in the middle of clean, uh, trying to put away the clean dishes 
So I decided to switch those over quick and then come back into the kitchen to put all this stuff away. And Izzy ends up coming in to help me. And most of the time, I do let her join me in cleaning or cooking or whatever I'm doing. Unless it's a safety issue, um, I like 99% of the time let her join me. Unless we've had a really rough day and like her dad's home, sometimes I'm like, I just need to finish dinner. Like I'm hungry, I'm tired, <laughs> go play. Um, but like I said, most of the time I do let her join me. Here I am realizing that the dishwasher, AKA me, didn't wash that straw well. Um, that's another thing. I like inspect everything while I'm putting it away just to make sure it is nice and clean. Um, Let me tell y'all, I am a Dawn girly through and through, okay? My little pump has Dawn in it. I have Dawn power wash. I have watered down Dawn spray for my counters and table. And the other night we were at Sam's and Jacob was like, do you want to get like the members mark soap instead of the Dawn? And I was like, do not insult me like that. Like, if I'm going to hand wash all our dishes, I'm going to use Dawn, okay? That is the way that it is. And... I love you, but don't insult me like that. You know what I mean? Um, I get the Dawn Platinum and like the giant jug. Um, I don't know if y'all can see there too. There's like the, f the no flip one. That one was pretty cool. I got it for when we went camping and it lasted forever because you don't need a lot of Dawn to wash your dishes. Um, but I won't be repurchasing that because I prefer my pump one, which is right behind that. Um, oh, here I am emptying out these little containers. These little containers for this like bug catcher thing, but we put plants in it. Um, we go outside and collect plants because it has just now gotten cold. So when I filmed this, it was still like 75 outside. So we would go outside and find different plants and cool rocks and stuff and put them in the little bug catcher from Dollar Tree. It's like a bunch of little circle containers. Um, and it has a magnifying glass. It's really cool. It was in the living room over here on the ottoman in this video. But yeah, then I'm just scrub-a-dub-dubbing my dishes. Um, I have this little brush for like the harder stuff. And then I love these green sponges. I actually bought these in bulk at Sam's when we went the other night too. Um, I go through these pretty fast because I'm scrubbing all of our dishes. And I use like no disposable dishes. Like, so... I stay in the kitchen. I actually need to go clean my kitchen. Like, me doing the voiceover needs to go clean the kitchen. Um, and then I've been saving jars. I have this really fun idea. So I've been saving jars, and I'm really excited. So, anyway, um, the dishes just keep coming, guys. <laughs> oh, and I don't have a garbage disposal. There's my toddler. Um, so maybe she was chilling in this video. You know what? I honestly don't know, y'all. I don't know she was supervised by someone and then this is my manual brush pump it's my favorite and my knockoff haka thing i think that one's from newbie um so yeah i don't remember why i was collecting milk but i was so because i pretty much exclusively breastfeed kennedy she will take a bottle though izzy wouldn't um so i recently got to go to jacob's work party and that was super fun um but yeah we're just gonna finish washing up these dishes and that will be the end of this video oh and i gotta wash the dog bowls and i threw away the sponge after this so do not worry um if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up if you want to see more content from me be sure to hit subscribe it's completely free it's just so you will see the videos i post come up on your feed um, you should also check me out on TikTok and Instagram at the OG Maddie and Maddie is spelled M-A-D-Y. And I think that's everything. Also, if you're a mom, I have a website with like super cute shirts and stuff that I design. So you should definitely go check that out as well. I have like Slay at Home Mom, Hot Mess Express. I have some for breastfeeding moms as well. Um, so I will put that down below. It's just designs by Mama Maddie again m-a-d-y but yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy holidays um 
and remember that not everything has to be perfect this holiday season okay um go easy on yourself especially if you're a mama i know it's super easy to get stressed during this time but it is so important to take care of yourself and try to enjoy this time as much as possible with your loved ones um yeah and then i'm just gonna clean off the table and go play with my kids <laughs> i hope you guys have a wonderful day and a merry christmas